Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Uh, welcome to BD Ant Preparedness. Um, thought today, since it uh, just turned September, today might be a good time to start talking about what we all ought to be doing right now. Okay, we ought to be uh, starting to transfer our uh, gear around in our bug out, bug out bags, get home bags, inch bags, good bags, whatever you want to call them. Uh, get that stuff switched around, start preparing for, for cooler weather. And uh, also, uh, start working on tending our gardens. Uh, for those of you that do not garden, highly, highly, highly recommend it, guys. Uh, I, I, I don't care where you live. I don't care if you're in an apartment and all you have is a terrace. Grow something in a bucket or a container. A pretty container, skip, whatever. I don't, I don't care. Um, a lot of people, unfortunately, have this idea of well, I got seeds. I'll just stick them in the ground and they'll grow. There's, there's a lot to it. Uh, you got to know as far as uh, trimming them and what fertilizers. And this one requires more sun. This one requires less sun. This one requires more of a loamy soil so it can drain properly. I mean, there's, uh, there's just a lot to it. Uh, and if you have not gardened, go, go small, okay? Try it out. Uh, go small and then work your way up. Um, I think, yeah, I was talking in another video that I know a lot of people out there, they've got their survival seed vaults and all this other good stuff. Um, yeah, buy two of them and uh, use one now or next season. Unless you're down the southern part uh, of the old U.S. here and uh, I think you guys can actually get another season. I know you guys got like a couple growing seasons depending on what it is. Um, but anyway, please guys, come next year if there's a next year. If, if we're still watching YouTube come, uh, come spring and uh, late winter. Uh, really do try to get something in a garden okay uh, anyway uh, this time of year those of us that do garden have a tendency of all right well everything's dying or everything's done uh, I'll just wait till spring and we'll get it ready again there's a lot of things you can be doing right now uh, pulling out all of that old dead vegetation uh, composting it as long as you're not using a lot of uh, chemicals and stuff like that on your on your plants uh, as long as you don't have a lot of weed seeds in there or like you really don't want to yank up your tomato plant and throw it in the compost pile with tomatoes still on it because I mean it's kind of cool you'll have little tomatoes growing up I remember a couple years ago I went to start planting whatever it was I can't even remember but all of a sudden I look around, there's a bunch of these little tomato plants starting to pop up. Um, but this time of year, start yanking that stuff out. Um, if you do the soil testing stuff, now's a pretty good time. You can see uh, what did the uh, what did your plants suck, suck out of the soil. Um, but one thing I recommend that I kind of tried out last year and it worked with a lot of my stuff i liked it um is uh digging up where you're at wherever your garden bed's at and putting some organic material in there the organic material in the soil helps hold on to moisture during the dry weather like we've been having now um and it was kind of cool i'm watching and the plants that I put the extra, extra organic soil in, they weren't looking as bad as the other ones. And I'm like, and I actually had the, like my tomato plants, I had an extra tomato plant, so I found a spot to stick it in the, one of the other garden spots, right? Um, but pretty much what you do, go get you a couple straw bales, 
Um, I've got wood chips. I'm going to be using some of those. Those take a lot longer to break down. You also have to watch uh, where the wood chips come from. You don't want pine bark because then you're going to add acidity to your soil. And uh, but the straws, straws, pretty simple. Uh, in your garden bed, you dig down a foot or so where you would normally plant your plants and do it in a row, you know, like if you do the row planting. And for those of you that have never handled straw before, you get it typically in a bale and there's two wraps of twine around it. You cut that twine and it kind of comes off in little squares about, I don't know, four or five inches wide at a time. Um, so what you do is down in that trough that you just dug is you take squares of that and you lay them beside each other the whole length of that trough. And then you cover it up with dirt. Um, between now and uh, time to plant again, uh, all the little uh, worms and micro bugs and everything that's in your soil is going to start working on that on that straw. Uh, if you have a ton of leaves in your yard this fall, uh, you got to watch what kind of leaves though. If you've got uh, black walnut, there's a lot of tannin in the leaves. You got to watch. Uh, you got to watch what leaf. You'll have to get online and research it. Uh, from my experience, I'm sure there's somebody going to say something out there, but maple leaves work pretty good. I haven't had any issues. Uh, some oak leaves, uh, not too bad. But you'll get that thick of leaves, and I mean like push down that thick. And you'll come back in the spring and they'll be like down to that. Okay, so as far as how much leaves to put in, you, you can't have enough. Because <laughs> they just kind of disintegrate. But yeah, get that organic material in your soil right now. You know, if, you're, if your plants are done, yank them out. Uh, get that in the ground right now. That way it's got time to uh, break down a little bit, things like that. We're going to start seeing a little bit rainier weather here. Uh, that, along with, like I said, all the critters in the soil is going to help break that stuff down. And it's kind of some degree kind of like a compost i mean you're not watching your greens and your browns but uh but yeah come next year that's going to really help when it comes to uh to watering and stuff like that if you don't believe me if you've got a couple different gardening areas do half of them or one you know have your test and your control right because we're all good scientists and uh and check it out um but gardening is not the uh, is not the sexy side of prepping um, but being able to garden guys it's it's going to help extend that lifespan if something happens uh, anyway uh, take care of that switch your stuff over start looking at those uh, yard sales garage sales that are still out there uh, if you see the blankets if you see the uh, old clothes, stuff like that, stuff, work clothes, you know what I mean? Go ahead and grab that stuff up. Uh, and there's things that you can be doing now uh, to help. Uh, if you've got uh, trees on your property that need to come down, you know, if you got dead standing or stuff like that, yeah, go ahead and start chucking up firewood, guys. Um, better late than never. Um, sorry, traffic. But there's many things you guys can be doing. I just quickly hit on a couple here, trying to keep this video short. Uh, what else should we be doing in the fall to uh, to help our preps? Uh, comment down below. Uh, this is when uh, most of us that do garden are going to be harvesting, and we're going to be doing a lot of canning. Uh, once again, something I highly recommend to everybody out there is to learn to can. Uh, that will definitely ex extend your food storage by quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, comments down below. Appreciate all the guys watching. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll talk to you after a while.